new video nervous system of rabbit the mammalian nervous system or the rabbit nervous system consists of three divisions one is the central nervous system which means the brain and the spinal cord constitute the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system including the nerves coming up from the brain and the spinal cord that means the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves so there are so many nerves coming up from the brain so all these nerves constitute constitute the peripheral nervous system there are many nerves from the brain so all these nerves is not outside inside So the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. So next one is the autonomous nervous system. Autonomous nervous system including the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic. So the brain and the spinal cord are covered by a triple layer membrane called meninges. So that protect the brain from external injury and shocks. So this is the skull external Taliyoti, other bone or ring, other than the delight to move membrane or other, you move the membrane pair and the pair on a menges or area, the outermost dura meter, the middle arachnoid matter, this one is arachnoid matter, and the lower one, so this is the pia meter. So there is a space between the arachnoid meter and pia meter, so this is called the sub arachnoid matter, the sub arachnoid space. So this space is called the sub arachnoid space, which is filled with fibers, blood vessels, and there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid. Now move on to the central nervous system, parts of the brain. The brain has three divisions: the forebrain, or called the prosencephalon. Midbrain, the mesencephalon, hindbrain, the rhombencephalon. So up to here is the forebrain. There is a small part called midbrain, and the last one is the cerebellum and the middle of lingueta constitute the hindbrain. Let's look at the forebrain. So it consists of olfactory lobes. This is the olfactory lobes. This is all factory lobes. A pair of cerebral hemisphere that you can see here. This is the cerebral hemispheres and unpaired diencephalon. Diencephalon, which is you can see on the ventral view. Diencephalon. Itriyanu four brain part more olfactory lobe consists of an olfactory bulb. So this is olfactory bulb and an olfactory tract and the ventral side is retracted olfactory tract it has a nerve called olfactory nerves and the function is to sense of smell smell the dictionary and the olfactory lobes and the functions the second part is cerebral hemisphere cerebral neurine this is the largest part and covered almost 2 by 3 of the whole brain they extend backwards covering the diencephalon and brain pain almost touch the cerebral. The question of the cord and extend it in diencephalon cover it. The problem is that the dorsal view is already covered. The ventral view is the diencephalon view. The cerebral is the name of the cerebral hemisphere. So there is a longitudinal and median fissures. This one is the longitudinal fissure that divides the cerebral. Cerebr cerebrum into two cerebral hemispheres right and left to have by half by the dividing so this is a longitudinal fissure when we don't open the meter there is a sylvian fissure this sylvian fissure is cerebral hemispheres in the end of by the dividing a larger one and a smaller one See, this is the called the frontal lobe so this is called frontal lobe and this is the called the temporal lobe this is the posterior temporal lobe. Here division in a divide frontal lobe 
temporal lobe body divide there is a longitudinal hippocampal sulcus hippocampal sulcus this is a hippocampal sulcus or fissure on each hemisphere right hemisphere and left hemisphere or hippocampal sulcus and which separate into an outer lobe and an inner lobe called hippocampal or piriform lobe so this is called a piriform lobe this is a piriform lobe hippocampal sulcus in our inner lobe and outer lobe and so this structure and the side of the structure is hippocampal lobe or piriform lobe this one is called the piriform lobe a shallow ventral longitudinal rhinal fissure separates all fatty duct from the hippocampal lobe. So this is a hippocampal lobe. So this is a rhinal fissure. This one is the rhinal fissure which separates the olfactory duct, olfactory duct from the hippocampal lobe. Idum idum separate in yana rhinal fissure nor Right to left to cerebral hemispheres in the other thumbnail paraspheric connected in a now band of tissue in the a band of nerve tissue that is called the corpus callosum. This is present in the only in the placental mammals. So, this green color structure is called the corpus callosum. Now, four branded and down the part on a diencephalon or another monamata part actually. First part is called the olfactory. Lobe and down the part on a cerebral hemisphere. Third part is called the diencephalon. The diencephalon or thalamencephalon is a narrow rectangular structure that lies below the cerebral hemisphere. Diencephalon or hypothalamus and thalamus and charne on a diencephalon. Di means two. On the dorsal side of diencephalon, there is a slender pineal stalk having terminal rounded structures called a pineal body. Pineal body would represent it. Which are your point structure on it? The remaining part of the roof, dorsal side, is a non nervous and highly vascular. It is called the anterior choroid plex. Right in the top, the pineal body in the If this is a rounded pineal board, in the roof, top surface. Non nervous, highly vascular in the top light roof, mobile light structure, like a highly vascular structure. This is called the choroid plex. Choroid plexus, choroid plexus. Plexus means network. Now, a pineal body rounded structure on it, and the mobile can the blood vascular system. The floor of the diencephalon gives of a median rounded infundibulum. So, this is the infundibulum. This structure, infundibulum, which carries an oval ratex pouch called hypophysis. A little pouch and down and the pair on hypophysis or a path case pouch called or hypophysis or a and the thari I do rounded structure and that is called corpus albicans a small rounded structure called corpus albicans and fundibulum and hypophysis together called the pituitary body so this is the pituitary body but other than the other in fundibulum hypophysis churn learner Pituitary body in our head. Pituitary body. The infundibulum optic chiasma is present, which is formed by the crossing of two optic nerves. Left side, no. right side, no. Right side, no. Optic nerves cross it on a cross or X shape, pole, moji. A crossing of optic nerves, no. A structure, no. Optic chiasma, no. Chiasma, no. Junction. Optic chiasma. This one is the optic chiasma. Next part is the midbrain. For brain, kind of any midbrain. Midbrain is the cherry structure. It consists of optic lobes, which are four in number. Pineal body, 
രണ്ട് സൈഡിലായിട്ടാണ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദിസ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഈ ഒരു ചെറിയ പോർഷനാണ് ഈ മിഡ് ബ്രെയിൻ എസ് എ ഫോർ റൗണ്ട് സ്ട്രക്ചർ കോൾഡ് കോർപ്പോറ ക്വാട്രി ചെമ്മ കോർപ്പോറ ക്വാട്രി ചെമ്മ മുകളിലെ തന്നെ സുപ്പീരിയർ കോളിക്കുളൈ എന്ന് പറയും സുപ്പീരിയർ കോളിക്കുളൈ ആൻഡ് ലോവർ വൺ ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഇൻഫീരിയർ കോളിക്കുളൈ ഇൻഫീരിയർ താഴെ കാണുന്നതിന് ഇൻഫീരിയർ കോളിക്കുളൈ എന്ന് പറയും മുകളിലെ തന്നെ സുപ്പീരിയർ കോളിക്കുളൈ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഫോർ ലോബ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആയതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇതിനെ കോർപ്പോറ ക്വാട്രി ചെമ്മ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അതിൻ്റെ താഴെ അതിൻ്റെ ഫ്ലോറിൽ താഴെ ഭാഗത്ത് ദർ ഇസ് എൻ ഔർ ട്രാക്ട് കോൾ ക്രൂറ സെർബ്രൈ ക്രൂറ സെർബ്രൈ ദാറ്റ് കണക്ട് ദ ഫോർ ബ്രെയിൻ ആൻഡ് ഹൈൻ ബ്രെയിൻ ഈ ഫോർ ബ്രെയിനെയും ദിസ് ഫോർ ബ്രെയിനെയും ഹൈൻ ബ്രെയിനെയും തമ്മിൽ കണക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന നവർ ബാൻഡാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നവർ ട്രാക്റ്റാണ് ക്രൂറ സെർബ്രെയിൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദ ഓപ്റ്റിക് ലോബ്സ് ആർ ദ സെൻറ്റർ ഓഫ് സെൻസ് ഓഫ് സൈറ്റ് ഓപ്റ്റിക് ലോബ്സിൻ്റെ ഫങ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈ കോർപ്പറ ക്വാട്ടിജമിനിൻ്റെ ഫങ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സൈറ്റ് സെൻസ് ഓഫ് സൈറ്റ് റൂറൽ സെർബ്രെയ് കൺട്രോൾ ദ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഓഫ് മസിൽ ഫൈബേഴ്സ് ലാസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ഹൈൻ ബ്രെയിൻ ഓർ റോംബൻ സെഫലോൺ ഇറ്റ് കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സെർബലം ആൻഡ് മിഡില ഓ ബ്ലാങ്കേറ്റ ഇത് രണ്ട് പാർട്ടും ചേർന്നിട്ടാണ് മിഡ് ബ്രെയിൻ സെർബല്ലം കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ലാർജ് മീഡിയം വേമീസ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് എ വേമീസ് ടു ലാറ്റർ ലോബ്സ് ദിസ് വൺ ഈസ് ദ ലാറ്റർ ലോബ്സ് എന്നടുക്കാണ് അതിന് സറൗണ്ട് ആയിട്ടാണ് ഫ്ലോ ക്ലാ ലോബ്സ് ആണ് ഈ പുറമെ കാണുന്നതാണ് ഫ്ലോ ക്ലാ ലോബ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദിസ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ പുറമെ കാണുന്ന ദിസ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ദിസ് കോൾ ദ ഫ്ലോ ക്ലാ ലോബ്സ് അപ്പോൾ വെർമീസ് two lateral lobes and two flocculi constitute the hind brain the surface of the cerebellum thrown into a large number of holes for increasing the surface area that is called gray matter gray color la kaanu ullillathu white matter aanu porame gray color kaanu ullillathu white matter aayittu kaanu the ventral surface of the cerebellum has a strong transverse band of fibers connecting the right and left half of the cerebellum it is called a pons veroli this so ഇപ്പോൾ വന്നത് ഇതാണ് പോൺസ് വെറോളി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് പോൺസ് വെറോളി സോ ഇറ്റ് കണക്ട് ദ റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹൗ ഹൗ ദി സെർബൽ പോൺസ് വെറോളിയുടെ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ സെർബലത്തിൻ്റെ രണ്ട് ഫങ്ഷൻ രണ്ട് ഹാഫ് ഉണ്ട് അതിനെ തമ്മിൽ പരസ്പരം കണക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് പോൺസ് വെറോളിയുടെ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഹൈൻ ബ്രെയിൻ്റെ സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ടാണ് മെഡില ബ്ലാങ്കേറ്റ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് So, middle of Blangata, this portion is called the middle of Blangata. It's the posterior most, most part of the brain. Middle of Blangata and Pons Varangi control the inflammatory actions of the body such as digestion, respiration, circulation, excretion, etc. Move on to ventricles of the brain. There are so many cavities inside the brain which is filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. so the cavity inside the olfactory lobe is called the rhinoceros so both the right and left which join with the cerebral hemispheres ventricle so these are called the vent lateral ventricle the cerebral hemispheres la ventricle la perana lateral ventricle so this is two right lateral ventricle and left lateral ventricle so both are connected through a cavity called the foramen ulnar so these two lateral ventricles connected to the third ventricles through foramen of monro foramen of monro so third ventricle is present in the diencephalon diencephalon kaanuna cavity aanu third ventricle nu varunnathu now the diencephalon or the third ventricle connected with the fourth ventricle which is in the oblong medulla oblongata is through a narrow canal called the aicha or it is called acuduct sylvius acuduct sylvius so these are the four ventricles first one rhinoceros second one lateral ventricles third one in the diencephalon and fourth one in the medulla oblongata now move on to the spinal cord this is a continuation of the medulla oblongata comes out from the cranium through foramen magnum foramen magnum or opening route yani brain taalathekku pogum taliyottinu mere taalathekku pogum it runs through the neural canal of the vertebrae 
vertebrae canal under that is called neural canal a terminate behind the lumbar region in a, as phylum terminate phylum terminate or the phylum terminate so this one is called the phylum this is called a phylum phylum terminate the spinal cord is swollen at two levels one is at the forelimb and at the hind limbs so which is called the bracket kaiyada eduthu oru swelling kaanu spinal cord ne adanaana brachial swelling varu idu human de aanu adil endalum ee swelling rendu areas cheriya vyathasam undu human la adane cervical enlargement ennu parayudhu pakshe brachial la adu brachial enlargement ennu parayudhu kaiyada bhagathilekku pona korchulla kaali aayittaanu idu kaanu brachial enlargement pin adu kaiyinde nere korchulla taalathilekku varuna samayathe sciatic swelling sciatic ivide korchu kuda mool la lumbar lumbar region la lumbar enlargement manushil rendu enlargement vyathasam undu cervical enlargement um lumbar enlargement um rabbit la anangal adine brachial enlargement um sciatic enlargement um varu kaalinde paathu varunu these swellings gives a nerve to the foreign fore and hind rendu swellings ni function varunale it gives a nerve to the fore and hind limbs